Hey everyone, welcome to Pawfology. So today I'm going to Caffeine Coffee and I'm gonna get some coffee, but it's such a beautiful day. I just wanna show you. It's a sunny day in downtown Indy. Very beautiful. It doesn't feel too cold, but maybe it is. But it doesn't feel cold. So I'm gonna go to Caffeine Coffee. I hope you're having a good day. I hope you're having a good week. It's almost the weekend. So that's what uh, that's what I'm doing. Okay, I'll see you very soon. Hey everyone, so I'm back. We're on our way to get a cup of coffee at Caffeine Coffee. So today has been pretty good. Has your day been good? I might have already asked you, I don't remember. Work has been not too bad and it's very sunny, so that's always nice. Always makes the day a little bit better. Emily and I will probably go on a walk. Um, I learned today that the Lockerbie neighborhood uh, that we're, we're in is the oldest neighborhood in Indy. So very interesting. It's a uh, historical neighborhood. Apparently, I actually don't know if it actually is. I just read a few articles that said it was, so I'm just assuming it is. It was the first historical neighborhood in Indy. The first neighborhood to claim, I guess it's historical whatever rights or something. So that's interesting. Uh, and if you ever go down there, it's, it's really cool. They got uh, brick roads, very just lots of historical plaques everywhere. It really reminds me of Virginia. Virginia has um, a lot of historical places, as you might assume. Uh, I grew up in Virginia, so we were always going to somewhere historical. And a lot of smaller towns in Virginia just have a lot of history to them. And cobble brick roads like the one in Lockerbie. So yeah, I really, I really do miss Virginia. I hope I can go in the next few months, I would really like to. But we'll find out. Jeez. And yeah. So today has been pretty good. I, I learned that I guess apparently there's this eight mile long uh, Amazonian painting about that was made 12,000 years ago on a bunch of stone. And they found it last year, but articles have been slowly coming out about it. They found it last year, but they were trying to hide it to prevent any damage being done to it while, while they study it. I highly doubt they've studied the whole thing because eight miles of stone painting is uh, very long. So it's kind of like cave paintings, just it's not in a cave. It's on the outside of a stone. So that's very interesting. And they have like some extinct animals on it. Extinct, yeah, extinct. Ones that we don't have anymore. So yeah, scientists were just learning about it, looking into it. And what else? Oh, so yesterday was the inauguration and I just think it's so funny, all of the memes with Bernie Sanders of him being in his chair. That's so funny. People are making, putting him in a bunch of different places and yeah, so. Hmm. Well, I'm going to go into this caffeine coffee. Um, yeah. Um, oh, and also Bernie had those mittens made by, I guess a, a teacher from his district that she sent to him and he wore them that day. That's so funny to me. Everyone's dressed up super nice. Well, I'm going into Caffeine Coffee. I'm probably not going to film. Hey everyone, so I just got my coffee and I put my sunglasses on and now I'm leaving Caffeine Coffee. So, what was I saying? Just talking about the eight mile painting that I found very interesting, Bernie Sanders. Man, how funny. I love that he became this fashion icon. So funny. 
And then what else? Um, I started Sabrina and I really like it so far. Well, I don't, I don't know if I like it. So I'm on, I'm only on episode two, the beginning of it. I'm not going to say anything about it. I just, besides my equip, maybe I shouldn't say anything. Well, eh, I'm just going to tell you. So I don't know how I feel about season, this season. So that kind of stresses me out. I hope I enjoy it. That's all. Here is in front of me is, let me show you. This is called livery. Livery is very tasty. It's a, uh, it's a very nice restaurant. I, I forget what, who owns it, but it's that main group in Indy that owns all the fancy restaurants, Cunningham. So livery is kind of like a Spanish cuisine. I don't know the specific of it. Now I'm walking back to my apartment, but down there behind me is uh, Mass Ave, or part of Mass Ave. A lot of fun places, fancy places down there. Here's some apartments. Let me show you. I think this building, you can, I don't know if they're, you rent them, but I think people own them. Interesting. They're very big, but they're probably very noisy because it's a concrete building. Walking towards the oldest neighborhood in Indianapolis. So I just watched a couple videos about this. It's very interesting. This is, so Lockerbie Square, there's, it's very, uh, lots of, lots of little homes. There's a couple big, bigger homes and it just has a very historical feel to it. And so you, if you've watched my vlogs for a while, I've definitely walked through it or shown it. But it's very cool. I'm going to show it to you. I'm not going to go down down there, but I'll show it. So if you go down here, you know, so this neighborhood in front of us, people take pictures there all the time. It's, it's a very busy street and it's very nice. I really, I really do like this, that area, lots of shade, but I will say being, being someone who has not grown up in the city. Okay. I, do not really like, uh, there's a couple things. Let me move this. There's a couple things I don't really like living necessarily in a city. And one of them is, um, maybe I should go this way. Sorry, everyone. I'm being undecisive. Uh, one of them is sometimes it smells and it smells like sewage. So you might be, Emily and I walk down there pretty frequently and like once or twice a week, it reeks of sewage, especially in front of a few homes that have a sewage, whatever drain near them. I feel so bad for them. I can't imagine living right there with a sewage drain. That would smell. I think that's what it is. I don't, I don't actually know. I just know it smells. So, I wouldn't want to buy a home that had one. I wouldn't want to live in the city or own a home, you know, with this, with that smell. Cause the homes in there go from anywhere between 400,000 to a couple million. And so, you know, you spend all that money and then it's just stinks really bad. That would suck. But honestly, if you have that much money to spend on a home downtown, you probably have a second home. Maybe not though, maybe I'm wrong. That's probably not true. I mean, but you also gotta understand, these are really small homes. So I, I, I don't actually know, but I have a feeling some of them are presidents or VPs at different companies. And so this is just kind of where they come to stay a few months of the year. And they probably go to Florida in the winter or something. Hey everyone, Emily and I are going on a walk. So I know I was out here earlier today, but I'm back out here again. We're going on a walk and we're walking towards 
uh, the oldest neighborhood in Indianapolis, Lockerbie Square. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's true. So look at that Civic. These homes, one of these homes was for sale a couple months ago. I think it was that one on the corner. I think it sold for, I don't know, 1.2 mil. At least that's what it was listed at. Okay, I'll be right back because we got to wait on traffic. So we're here in the Lockerbie Square. This is one of my favorite homes. That one right there. Then you got this blue house. Very nice. It's a very, uh, in the summer, it's pretty shaded. There's a, a golden retriever. And another thing I really like is a lot of these houses have uh, lantern lights with flames or fake flames in it. He doesn't know, know us. See? Isn't that interesting? Yeah. So a lot of these homes have those lanterns. And then here is the famous cobblestone road in Lockerbie. And I would imagine this house is probably the biggest one in Lockerbie, I think. So, and then there's the cobble. This is, this is the main road that everyone takes pictures on, especially in the fall. Everyone does engagement photos and high school graduation photos, people come down here every every weekend, you'll see someone doing it. So, but this is Lockerbie. Okay, I'm Emily and I are gonna go for a walk. We're walking right now, but we're gonna continue our walk. So I'll see you very soon, bye. Wait, before I go, if you're still watching this, comment down below, what should I say? Mm. Sunset. Comment down below, sunset. The sun is setting here in Indy. There's the BMO building, Salesforce building, and regions. regions. So that's part of the skyline. Comment down below, sunset. All right, I'll see you very soon. Bye. Hey everyone, so Emily and I are going back home. I'm going to end the vlog here. So I hope you're having a good day. I hope you have a good weekend. If no one's told you this, you are loved and this world is a better place because you are here. I'll see you tomorrow, bye.